Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A beautiful um, hallway in one of the oldest churches in the Philippines. Hi, check my website. Let me just fix this. At ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share um, Acts 1 verse 24. It says, O Lord, you know every heart. Here's my poem. Search my heart, O Lord. O Lord, you know everyone's heart. Will you search mine and set it apart? Let me only have righteous intentions. Convict me so I won't give in to temptations. Grant me a hunger to always seek your truth. Change my mind and heart so I can be renewed. Don't allow me to be corrupted by this world. Let me always be guided by your holy word. Here's my essay. How often would you let someone see you inside and out without masks? Many people are afraid to get closer to others because they are scared that they will be exposed and others will see their weaknesses, faults, and flaws. I, <clears throat> I am thankful that I'm not afraid to be seen by others regardless of how much I fall short of God's glory. Uh, the Bible tells us that God allows us to experience these thorns in the flesh because He is honing us and refining us to be strong so we can do what He has planned for us. King David was known for a person who was after God's heart. He was obsessed with getting closer to the Lord and he constantly leaned on him for everything. Despite his many frailties and sins, the Lord chose him to be the foundation of the lineage of Christ. Ask God to search your heart. Here's my prayer. Lord, let me never be afraid to be convicted by your spirit if I have done wrong. Reflection, how can we strengthen our desire to have our hearts changed righteously? If we constantly have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, I think um, it is not hard for us to um, learn the ways of God um, when, when we constantly communicate with the Lord through prayer, through devotions, through reading His Word, studying His Word, being with other fellow believers, we are going to learn to um, accept the discipline that God is giving us or teaching us. Um, if we are surrounded by people who are ungodly and who do not um, know the Lord, uh, chances are we will also become like them. So if we need to surround ourselves with people who have that passion and that hunger and that desire to be closer and to know Jesus more. So ask the Lord to search your heart because when you constantly ask Him to search your heart, He will show you what is going on in your heart. And sometimes a lot of us are so busy living this world without even really reflecting on what's going on in our heart. Just like when you have a physical heart attack, some people are not aware of all the things that they're getting there, uh, getting uh, all the things that they're putting in their bodies that affect their heart condition. So have a happy Easter today. It's uh, the Lord's... Um, this is one of the best uh, season, um, and I just really pray that people will focus more on Easter rather than on Christmas because Easter is actually the biggest celebration that we should be having because Jesus saved us and died for us on the cross. So again, reflect on what he has done for you because he loves you so much, and so you probably... Um, should allow him to search your heart. Thanks for watching. Check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day.